Good morning. It is the 22nd of spring. We're running on to spring quickly here. And let's check our functional stuff. Let's get some more dried apples going. And make sure our furnaces are still going strong. We would not want them not working, wouldn't we? These are hard working furnaces. And they need to be. We need to be. Yeah, we need that bronze. We need it. All right. T. Fuel. Oh, I'm out of wood again. Dang it. Oh, I cannot wait for this tree farm to be running. And then I need to get some monies so that I can get some trees coming in without effort. Right, we're going to use the last of our hardwood just so we can hopefully get our furnaces going. But we will go ahead and probably uh, farm some trees so we don't have the same problem tomorrow morning. It's funny because some of the, I guess, grindy part of this game is heavily front-loaded. There are some things that you will always have to grind. Like, you're never going to get the marble and the gems and stuff that you need by not doing it yourself. But, eh, that only makes sense, right? They will only allow so much lazy. <laughs> Alright, let's make our DD stops. I'm pulling all the ingredients we require for those. And I know it says we only have to make three in our quest. However, there are a total of, I believe, 10 DD stops that you're eventually going to have to make. There might be more. I'm not honestly sure. I have not completed the full game before I decided to uh, do the Let's Plays. But I have gotten far enough to know that you need quite a few. Here to have mail. Alright, it looks like we got the diagram, which I figured we would. For storyline quest, it's always like next day. Fortunately. Alright, and then my orders for blue leather and the inspection goodies. We like goodies. And we have a one DD stop. Woohoo! Now we're just gonna go ahead and make the other four for now. The nice part is, I think, don't quote me, I think that the town will put up, or the game, I guess, will put up two more when they pop up that you won't have to put up. And because I can't put it um, in my favorite spot, which is the spot near the uh, sewage plant, because that's my favorite, one of my favorite fishing spots until we get the one in the desert, then I won't, I won't have to put one there. They'll put one there, which is convenient. Saves me some running. But for now, I want to be able to get wherever I want a little bit faster. So I'm just going to go ahead and put them all up. Because who likes convenience? I like convenience.
Again, though, this is a personal choice. If you don't have the materials or you just don't want to put these up, don't. Do your three and let them sit. Like, pick places you don't go and <laughs> let them sit there. <laughs> but uh, I use them. I will eventually use them all, probably. I use the wharf less. Or I forget that there's DD stops when I have the faster horse and <laughs> just run there anyway. But I... I like the DB stops, so I want them up, and that whole, you know, semi-need for completion thing always hits me. Let's feed the llama, and set it up for training. Eh. I don't think he needs food. We fed him 30 the other day, so I think he's okay. But let's start placing. Ooh, we have a quest. Of course, we're going to collect it. We're, we're busy bodies. We need to go find out who it belongs to. It, in this case, you need to find Gus. Just so you know. And since Gus can be kind of elusive, it's good to know where you need to go. Though I think the map shows you. What is it? I found this outside of town. Is it yours? This is... my design draft. Albert was taking it to the harbor to send it off to Atara. Did he drop it on the way? Thanks. He's probably scratching his head, trying to figure out where it went. Alright, we actually have to go to the port anyway to put, place a DD stop, so this is super convenient. And it's funny, this quest, you have six days to complete this quest. It seems pretty urgent, so I'm kind of surprised they didn't put it, like, do it that day on it. However, we, we'll get there today, we'll get there today. I'm not feeling that motivated. Eh, we'll take the stone stools. Those are easy. I know I've got the stone. And let's do our daily round of buying. Hey, even though we live right by the sea, I haven't eaten any fish in weeks. Every day I have to look after my shop, so I can't go fishing. Can you bring me some? Of course. I don't know about today, but of course. And I know I got the llama and then I am putting it in training so I'm still hoofing it. <laughs> the irony is not lost on me. But our llama will be much better after training so I will take this sacrifice. And llamas are kind of nice because they're so easy to keep happy. They really are. They're just, they're happy just sitting in the stable being trained. And as it turns out, if you're feeding horses something they like, they are too. I had so many problems with the horse that I bought uh, in my last playthrough. It just was never happy. Like, it was always angry, angry red face at me. And I was just like, what is going on? I'm feeding you the lettuce. Don't, isn't the lettuce what you like? No. No, it is not. And I looked it up and they're like, oh, feed it wheat. And I'm like, I can't feed it wheat. It's not on the list. And I wasn't even growing weed at the time. I had some, but... <laughs> uh, and apparently it doesn't matter if your horse is mad at you. But... I don't want my horse mad at me. I like horses. So, 
I eventually, eventually found a post that said, oh, just feed it rice. And I'm like, why in the, why would you ever, ever feed a horse rice? Oh boy, my package. I was looking everywhere for it. If I'd lost this, ooh, Gus would probably not talk to me for a season. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, this is Gus's design proposal for the new Commerce Guild HQ building in Atara for Victor Azula, the head of the guild. To be honest, I don't think we're going to get this project. The Vincent Design Institute is in Atara, so there's going to be a lot of competition there. Oh, you made it, Nelly. That's impressive. Yeah, Gus is pretty impressive. There were a lot of teams scouting him while he was studying in Atara. Still, some folks just can't understand his designs. Especially those old fools in the Design Institute. I think the day Ginger marries will be the day Gus goes for a position in the Design Institute. As long as his sister is alone, Gus will always be there. Hmm. Hi. Have a gift. It really is a nice present. Okay, now that we've turned that into Albert, and we have one more DD stop to place, um, and it's just the one by the tree farm, we also need to correct some of our resource shortages. And for that, we're going to chop some trees and gather some copper and tin. Because our bronze train is coming to a stop, and we can't have that. So let's place the DD stop and whap down some trees. I still find it absolutely hilarious that you can chop down the trees on the tree farm. You'd think that would uh, cut down on their profits considering they don't charge you for it. Apparently there was a time where you couldn't get in the tree farm until it was actually open. So I'm glad that changed because uh, this is a prime source of uh, wood that you don't have to run terribly far between trees to obtain. And let's get some extra marble, some bloodstones. We'll need those. And I am speeding this up because this takes a while. Because we are chopping a tree. Yes, we're chopping a tree. It's the lumberjack of life for oh, oh, me. Alright, let's head back out. We've got quite a few trees here now. And if we head back chopping on the way, then we can head to the mine. To pick up some copper. And we need to make our stone stools. So, let's do that. Okay, I don't want to turn into Toady. He's all the way by the river. Yeah, he is still fishing. 
So we're going to skip that for now and we are going to go turn into the mayor for the DD stops. Ooh, ooh, get him, get him, get him. You've already placed the DD stops? That's very efficient. Huh, here's your commission fee. With the new DD stops, traveling around this area will be much more convenient. Hey! The town's book broke. Okay. <laughs> We need to work on our gift giving with him. I want my prices down. We're down, we're up to 100,000 goals for another plot of land. So yeah, we need to work on our friendship here with the mayor. Plus, I mean, he's a nice guy. I need to get my cooking stove up so that I can make food. I've just been a little busy. This game just has so much to do. Like, once you start things rolling, unless you want to take things at a leisurely pace and just ignore your quests, which I am apparently incapable of doing, it's, uh... <laughs> it's fast. Or at least it feels like there's always, like, a ton of stuff to do after you implant that bridge. I want to see what I have. So I know, like, if I'm running out of time or energy or if I want to keep going. Because I don't want to come back here for a while. But I also need data disks. So, um... Let's... Strip mines that copper. Fortunately, in this magical land, if you take too much, you can just reset it. And then you get a whole new mine. So convenient. So convenient. Sadly, the real world does not work like that. I mean, they say you're in a different part of the mine, but you can't even find your old mine. So I'm going with the magic fairies situation. Discs. I can't wait to get the drill. Like, the drill is, like, massively power hungry. Like, it takes up SP, like, so fast, so fast. But, it just... Butter <laughs> mines through things so fast. Just like butter. All right, ooh, Gust, we need to turn in. What is it? I gave Albert the package. My thanks. That guy's got a big mouth. Isn't that the truth? The powers that be only care about one thing: cost. It's hard for them to understand that architecture is an art and has vitality. A good design can give life and soul to a building. Okay, we have one more thing to do today. And I am taping the voiceover for this after the fact because I was originally going to cut this because I was so irritated. We need to go find Toadie to turn in those stools. And he's still showing on the map. He's showing up by the harbor. And now he's showing up in the field, McDonald's field. And I'm totally okay with this. This totally makes sense. So we're going to go to the field and we're going to go find Toadie and we're going to turn on our stools, right? Right? That's the goal, right? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I always thought Toadie was a little creepy. Maybe it's just the mustache. I just don't like mustaches. I find them a little bit creepy. Very few people can like pull them off. Okay, I just don't like mustaches. But so here we are. We are in the field and, uh, He's not here. Yeah. Not here. So where is he? 
<laughs> Does he have like an underground lair under McDonald's farm? I mean, what the heck? There's no house here. Uh, it's, uh, it's weird. I mean, it would make sense if it went to a house. There are houses on McDonald's farm. But he, no, he's like under a tree? Strange. Strange. All right. Well, that's actually it. I just had to share that little bit of nonsense with you because <laughs> I was baffled. And it, in retrospect, it's really hilarious. But we will just turn this in tomorrow, I guess. So that's it for me today. I will talk to everyone later. Bye, y'all.